This is the Devil Fruit Notifier from Bloxfruits, costing a massive 2,700 Robux. And this makes it so you can find exactly where Devil Fruits spawn around the map. But is it actually any good? So to find that out, I'm spending 100 hours using the Fruit Notifier to see what Devil Fruits I can find in the first seat. And I'm in. This is hour one. And now the painful hours of waiting begins. Now to make this even more interesting than just finding fruits, but an absolute pain for me, I have made another account instead of one and we'll put them both head to head to see which one gets the best blocks fruits. Oh, fruit has spawned for account number one. Please give me something good that I can find other fruits with fast. And as you can see from my level, I have actually been playing through the start of the game to get like a bit more stamina so I can dash more. Five minutes later. Well, that took me like five minutes to get here. It's 50 meters away. Please something good. Oh, it's yellowish. <gasps> the light fruit. What a great start. Account number one who managed to find the light fruit. The other account was not as lucky as I got a chop fruit. I'm gonna eat this to make leveling a bit faster. You know, since it is the legendary chop after all. After getting the first fruits and grinding some mastery, the next set of fruits spawned. Account number one managed to get the sand fruit. Not great, but also not too bad. And I'm now on the other account. Come on, something good. That looks like diamond to me. If this was Minecraft, I'd be very happy, but it's not, so I'm mad. After these first two fruits, it's clear that account one is doing much better than account number two, but how many attempts would it take to find a mythical fruit? Hopefully, I'd find out soon as fruit number three, I found a falcon fruit and another sand fruit. Not long after the falcon and sand wombo combo, fruit detected. And it's really close. That's so lucky. Wait, what is that? Oh, the legendary chicken devil fruit. We got phoenix. That's actually so sick. Account number one got super lucky, but number two, come on. I got a nice fruit. Okay, number one is definitely doing better at the moment. However, will it be the same at the end? Who knows? All I do know is you gotta subscribe and help me speed run to a million subscribers. For devil fruit number five, I got a bomb and a smoke fruit. Both common fruits, but not too bad. The next blocks fruit is where things began to get interesting. Fruit detected. Okay, nice. I can take a break from progressing through the game now. All right, it seems to be on Skylands. And I think maybe on the upper sections over here. Bruh, a falcon fruit? Fruit detected part two. This has got to be the redemption arc, right? Surely? Okay, what is that? Another smoke. Are you kidding? Wait. Oh, I got a poor fruit. Let's go. This is a legendary fruit. Even with my terrible boat, I got something actually good. I began searching for the two number seven fruits and found a magma and a bomb fruit. Another hour later and for number eight, I got a kilo on account one and rubber on account two. One more hour later and we had our next set of fruits detected. Another kilo and a spin fruit. I actually would have preferred right to find now, garbage. Bro? Like this kilo might be an almighty fruit, but it's got to go. A sacrifice for the greater good and better fruits. Uh oh, once this kilo and my life were sacrificed, I could then start the search for the next fruit. And this one, I had a feeling would be good. Hold on, we're getting close. Is that a quake? Yo, another legendary? This is nuts. Let's go and straighten my inventory. Perfect fruit to find for number 10 exactly. Account number one is living life right now. Here we go, we're on account number two. We got 300 meters to go to get to the fruits. Finally made it and I didn't, I didn't take a boat. What is even that one? Uh, the barrier fruits? It's only a rare fruit, so we failed the back-to-back -back legendary attempt. <laughs> While waiting for the next fruits to spawn, I found Rayleigh to get some useful abilities that will make finding fruits not complete agony, and then fruit number 11 spawned for both accounts. We're back in business. Come on. Something good, please. It took a while, but wait, 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 wait. Another quake fruit? <laughs> wait a minute. I already got one, so I guess this one is being dropped into the ocean. We take the double quake, though. And for account number two, we got another barrier. Was this the same and in the same spot again? Hey, no no way. I just hit replay. For fruit number 12, we managed to get a spin fruit on account one and the first magma on account two. And once I had found that magma fruit, account one had a brand new spawn, which was another magma. I honestly think this game is trying to tell me something. And it better be that the fruits from this point are going to be good. Please. Account number two didn't get as lucky, but did get a dark fruit. A fruit we haven't seen yet, but it isn't a mythical fruit. Out of all of the 35 fruits in the game, the two main ones we're aiming for are doe and leopard. So maybe soon our streak of kind of mid luck will would change. I continue waiting around and finally got two more fruits to spawn. This time, a revive fruit for account one and a kilo for account two. Not great, but I could turn spooky if I wanted to, I guess. Fruit number 15 was also pretty bad. We got a spin into a bomb fruit. Maybe one of the worst attempts yet. At this point, I had also forgotten to get sky jump on account two, which meant I could have missed any fruit that decided to spawn in the upper skylands since it was impossible for me to get up there on this account. And while I was doing this, the other account just casually found another quake fruit. Is that three? Am I counting correctly or am I hallucinating? Like, what is this? Give me a Buddha or something instead. Well, in you go. I swear the ocean is just swallowing them and replacing them every time I throw them away. Ooh. And this account found something. Never mind. We got a 
spike fruit is that oh no a smoke even worse next fruit has spawned this is really tough and we're only on like 17 that is a chop okay another minecraft diamond straight into the ocean that one goes all right we're getting kind of unlucky now so maybe we try and like speed run through these next ones and see what we get i say speed run but this is gonna take literal hours of time for me a flame another diamond okay more spawns Ooh, a rubber fruit for number 20. Not bad. I had made it to 20 blocks where it's found. With still no mythical fruits yet. But this was not going to stop me. We still had over 60 hours of hunting to go. And I had a feeling I was going to get something pretty good. A kilo fruit? Bro, really? Maybe the other account found something nice? Nope, just a flame fruit. Now we wait here again for an hour. For number 22. Maybe we can get something good? A bomb. That's getting dumped straight into the ocean. Yep, that's right. I'm putting bombs in the ocean. Just casual things. And account number two. Is that another bomb? Um, I regret dropping the last one in the ocean. I'm convinced if you drop them in the ocean, they just come back to you. While waiting for the next fruit to spawn, I did some Blux fruit stuff, as you do, and defeated the Chief Warden. And then shortly after, here we go. This is gonna be it. I can feel the luck. And is that a nice fruit? That yeah, I love this fruit, but like, it's just not good. Followed by a brown fruit. What fruits are brown? Bro, it's literally just a falcon. Okay. The 23rd fruits were definitely just not that great. Due to the crazy number of legendary fruits we got at the start on account number one, it's not looking too good for account number two. But maybe we would see a comeback victory and finally see a mythical fruit. Yep, a spring, of course. I feel like we've got nothing good in like so many hours. I think this morning is when I got my last good fruit. Or white fruit. Is that paw or quake maybe? Nope, that's a smoke. Right, okay, cool. I don't know why I got my hopes up. Oh wait, and a love fruit. I'll happily take a love fruit. Don't mind if I do. And that's not continuing. Again, we got a spin fruit. What is this, man? With the addition of this love fruit to account number one's inventory, it was absolutely storming ahead on legendaries and overall fruits. Since number two basically only had a poor fruit going for it right now. We're over halfway. Can I please get something better than a common? Nope. How about number two? We got a smoke fruit. Fantastic. At this point, I would even take like another light or a magma. Like, please, Roblox. Fruit detected. This is number 27. It's gray? Is that quake? Nope. It's another smoke fruit. And the other one is a spring? Yeah, that's just insult to injury at this point. Back to back trash. And the chop fruit as well. I keep getting more and more unlucky. A new fruit spawn? I got so bored fighting these toga warriors waiting for one to spawn. Finally. Another spike? Is that two spikes in a row on this account? And a flame fruit. Yes. It's not mythical or like even close, but it's not common. So I'm happy. Then another spike? Fruit number 30 is where things turned around for both accounts as we found a magma fruit straight into a love fruit. But even with the love, it's still not enough for account two to be in the lead. Number 31 just spawned. You guys don't know the agony of having to wait each and every hour for these, but we got a spring fruit this time and then a kilo fruit for the next one. That's back to back pain right there. For the next fruit spawn, I decided to spice things up and head into a public server to see if anybody could beat me in finding the fruits, which would be incredibly difficult on my second account since I don't have the light fruit yet to make movement super easy. So getting around for fruits is going to be way harder for me compared to the other players in the lobby. Oh wait, I think I'm actually getting here first. No way, it's yellow. Oh, finally, please tell me that's light. Yes, it's finally a light fruit. I mean, portal would be like way better for travel but the light fruit is just so much better for like grinding and getting more stamina with a sand fruit that's fruit number 63 total by the way and no mythical fruits found so far well and you know a barrier is not too bad for account number two this fruit is like decent but not really what we're looking for next one is a string fruit yes another legendary finally so much suffering to get this after getting another legendary fruit that puts us just seven away from hitting 40 on both accounts so it's speed run time Ooh, killer bomb love again yes ew terrible a sand, not bad. Back to back, bro. Donut fruit, nice. And love what? This account is so lucky. That's a chop and a diamond for number forty, not bad. And then we got a spike. That is, that's just tragic. Being just ten fruits away on both accounts, I was starting to feel like this would be it. A mythical would definitely spawn as long as I kept getting lucky. This is what fruits I found for both accounts. Account number one is just infinitely more juiced up than account number two, but that balance would change in an instant if I found a mythical. Fruit number 41. Here we go. We got smoke for account number one. Interesting. Next spawn. Oh, it's black. Come on, rumble, maybe? I just want to see some different legendary fruits, man. That just 
just isn't it. But it, it's not a common, so I'll take dark. Fruit spawn. I'm feeling lucky. Oh, it's white. A string fruit. Yes. I've had so many quakes until now, so I'll happily take a string. Count number two fruit spawn, which means we're gonna get something bad. Oh, wait. Is that a quake? Bro, how do we go from so many bad fruits to back-to-back -back legendaries? No way. Another quake? For 43 and a diamond for account number two. But more importantly, this is nuts. But and like, how have we not seen a mythical yet? Wait, I'm actually convinced now that every time I drop these extra ones into the ocean, they're just being spat out again and again. I don't get tired of this spawn notification. However, I am getting tired in general. We got a spring fruit this time. And also a smoke. Nothing crazy. Number 45. I'm starting to get nervous. Surely we get a mythical, right? Chop fruit. Yeah, that's a legendary right there. Wow, what a good fruit. And the next is a kilo. Okay, it's been another hour and we got a diamond. With the next fruit being a falcon. Okay, fruit number 47 detected. We're getting close to being done. Here we go. Mythical. That's a barrier. It's literally the opposite, but like also not too bad. Yet yeah, even the barrier was better than this spring. Come on. We've not got many chances left. Three more chances across the two accounts. It was not looking good for account number two to find a mythical and bring it back. This time is... That looks like a smoke. Yep, a smoke. And also a magma fruit. Ooh. Account number two trying its hardest to catch up in fruits right now. Number 49. It's a bomb fruit. Wow. Such a good fruit to get for the second to last one. Account number two, please come in clutch. Please. That's a legendary kilo fruit. That's so sad. The final fruits. I've spent so many hours searching for fruits. Please be good. All that we've seen so far is these notifiers suck for finding actual mythical fruits. Just legendaries, apparently. And before we get these final fruits, this is what the fruits account number one has got so far. And here is account number two. And here is all the mythical fruits I found. See? Take a long, hard look at it. It's a, it's a lot. You might miss all of them. It's that many. Yeah, I'm in pain. Please send help. Show me the mythical, please. A spin fruit. Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was definitely better than that. Now I'm on the second account. Here we go. This is it. The final fruits out of all of them. This will decide everything. Please. The final one. A quake on number 50. Are you kidding? I mean, it's actually kind of cool. But like account number two didn't stand a chance. Honestly, the amount of quakes I've thrown away is getting ridiculous. And even after all of this, I still have one major question. Does using the notifier in the second C give better fruits than the first C? 